The story is about a boy called Tanjiro who lives with his mother and his siblings. One day when Tanjiro went to a nearby city, he comes back and finds his family dead. The only member of family who is alive is his sister Nezuko and he tries to save her by carrying her on, on his back and bringing her to one of the nearby doctors but on the way Nezuko turns into a demon and attacks Tanjiro suddenly a demon slayer called Giyu appears and tries to attack uh, Nezuko Tanjiro wants to save Nezuko first he begs Giyu not to kill Nezuko but after that he tries to attack Giyu of course the demon slayer is stronger and manages to win the fight but he becomes surprised how strong and how clever Tanjiro is. Nezuko felt that there is a danger for Tanjiro and tried to defend Tanjiro against Giyu and it surprised Giyu because Giyu has seen many demons before and he knows that demons usually eat their family members, their siblings, their parents when they are hungry especially when they are wounded and Nezuko is wounded but she doesn't attack Tanjiro so he decides not to kill Nezuko he thinks that they might be something special and he tells them to go to Yorodotaki who lives in Mount Sagiri and this is what Nezuko and Tanjiro decide to do after burying their family members, they move to the mountain. The smell of blood. Hang on, Tanjiro! You're not going back up the mountain now. It's simply too dangerous. Oh, I'll be fine. I've got a good nose. You can stay here for the night. Come on. Get inside. Get inside. No, I'm... Don't argue, just get in here. Before the demons show up. What the fuck? Rolling, 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 rolling. Down, down, down. One of the most interesting things about episode 1 is that you are immediately in the middle of the story. It doesn't waste your time by giving you some uh, introduction that you don't care. You just start the whole thing with a question. How in the world could something like this happen? What happened? And you don't know what happened and neither does uh, Nezuko, neither does Tanjiro and we are going to find together. <laughs> Another important thing about the first episode is that a trauma happened. Something tragic happened to Tanjiro's family who were so close, who were very kind and generous and warm and this is something that has some impacts on Tanjiro and we are going to see how it influences this person because this is not something that you can just pass. When we focus on Tanjiro, we notice very important things. The most important thing, I guess, is Tanjiro's face. We know that there is a scar or something similar to that. And we realize that it wasn't there always. When we see a photo of his childhood, the scar is not there. So it might be something that appears later. Although, now that I think of it, my grandma used to say the same thing before she passed away. Of course, the story has some philosophical implications too. The first important one is the view of Tanjiro regarding the world. He thinks that life is periodical. It changes. It never remains sunny and it re never remains snowy. They just complete each other and when one passes, the other one appears. They just come and go. Life can change though, as sudden as the weather. It shifts and moves on. The sun can't shine forever and the snow has to stop at some point. And this is something that we also notice when he falls from the mountain. He says, a snow caused my fall and also it's a snow that saved me. This is how he perceives the world. Oh no, 
The snow saved me. But the snow is the only reason I fell. And about demons. Are demons really relatable? Are they something that we should consider as something relevant to our world? I think we should because demons actually represent bad corrupted humans who have done bad things and their character has some bad features and the whole story would be about the challenges of a family to save one member from this bad situation and returning to humanhood. In the first episode, we noticed that it won't be easy. Giyu explains that when you become a demon, meaning that when you become corrupted, you can't go back. But we will see if Nezuko manages to go back. She wouldn't hurt me. She knows I'm her big brother. And I won't let her hurt anyone. I'll turn her back into a human. I will heal her. She can't be healed. Once you become a demon, no one can ever turn back. There's a way, and I'll find it no matter what it takes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to talk about the next episodes too. Please leave comments if you have ideas. Have a good day. See you later. Let your emotion drive you to charge at me. You are a fool! You have made me so angry. Hey, Zadu!